We're following the new research on the effectiveness of COVID booster shots. The CDC published a new report over the weekend. It finds that Pfizer and Moderna's booster shots weaken significantly after four months. Dr. Celine Gounder is here to discuss. She's an infectious disease specialist and epidemiologist at the NYU Grossman School of Medicine and Bellevue Hospital. And she also served as a COVID advisor on the Biden transition team. It's great to see you. Great to be here. All right, so let's talk about this. Um, there are people who are concerned, not concerned, but are wondering if be, we're going to need boosters on a regular basis. I mean, a friend of mine even uh, DM'd me last week saying there's a fourth shot coming. And I said, where did you see that? <laughs> and then a couple of days later, uh, Dr. Fauci on one of those COVID briefing calls says, you know, we may be thinking about a fourth shot. And I think a lot of people are saying, really? I mean, is that really where we're going to be? And if that is where we're going to be, why? We have known uh, since last summer, really, that there is some degree of waning, especially against infection and especially in certain groups. So the elderly, highly immunocompromised people. And this is also why the CDC and other public health experts have been recommending that people continue to wear masks, even if they're vaccinated, to give you another layer of protection. Will we need fourth, fifth, you know, yearly boosters? I think that still remains to be seen. And that might be more limited to some of those high risk groups I mentioned, like the elderly and the highly immunocompromised. Uh, so now we're learning, speaking of kids and COVID, we're learning that um, there's probably going to be a delay with the Pfizer shot for kids under uh, the age of five. They want to take a second look at the possibility of a three dose, uh, three shot dose. Um, so why would that be necessary for kids that little? Well, first of all, if, if you're confused, even after listening to this, <laughs> trust me, I get it because a lot of us are confused still about how this has all unfolded. What we found was that two doses were safe and effective for six month to two year olds. But for the two to five year olds, the vaccines are two doses are safe, but they're not as protective as we would like. Mm. And so then Pfizer decided with the FDA, let's look at three doses in the full age group. But that does mean we're going to have to wait a little bit longer to get all of the data. You know, that makes a lot of sense because we, we lump them into sort of one category. But there's a huge difference in size and weight from, you know, a six month old to a four year old. So it totally makes a lot of sense. Yeah, absolutely. You know, and I do understand the perspective of parents. One of my nieces is in that under five age group. We were all super excited to get her vaccinated, you know, at the end of the month or in March. And, you know, I do understand it's very stressful to have to wait, even if it's yeah. just a little bit longer. So let's talk about uh, mass mandates that are being lifted right now across the country. Many states are doing that. Uh, the CDC, however, says it's too soon. Um, is there, you know, I, again, I've had friends who've, you know, DM me because they know I'm a reporter and a journalist and they say, oh, the science is changing, right? There's a lot of skepticism. Mm -hmm. The science is changing. And so now the polling is out saying that people are, you know, rightly or wrongly, that they're feeling the effects of this pandemic after two years and they just want to continue living their lives, even though there are still people dying from COVID-19, to be clear. Um, isn't there a happy medium where mask mandates? No, you don't have the government telling you that you should wear a mask, but that people if they feel uncomfortable, like in a subway, I wore, I was in the subway this weekend, wore a mask. You're in a crowded supermarket, wear a mask. But you don't have to wear it everywhere you go and on everything you do. What, do you, what, are your, what are your thoughts? Well, you know, remember the U.S. is a huge place. And so parts of the country are on the other side of Omicron. Vaccination rates are really high, for example, here in New York City. Mm. Other parts of the country are still very much in the middle of their Omicron surge. And, and across the country, we're still dealing with 2,000 deaths a day. Mm -hmm. But I could imagine in the future, just like you watch your weather report, it's 50 percent chance of rain. You grab your umbrella as part of that weather report. You're also told, hey, it's a high COVID day or it's a wildfire day out in the San Francisco Bay Area. Bring your N95 mask. I think that might be what the future will look like. I think if there's any lesson that we should know by now is that there are not hard and fast rules that the circumstances determine your behavior. Yeah. We do that with so many things in our life. Right. Why can't people understand <laughs> you do it with COVID I think too? the struggle, Emory and Dr. Gounder, as you know, is that mask wearing became political. If it yeah. were not, when I lived in Asia, people wear them all the time when they are sick, but not sick enough to be to stay home from work, right. but sick enough to travel in an underground or in the tube or the metro or whatever, they throw on a mask. And you know that that person is feeling the effects or the lingering effects of a cold mm -hmm. or something. And but here, because it became political and because mandates, in other words, the government dictating what people should and shouldn't do, and you had politicians resisting that, that's where I think it's been tricky. But yeah. wearing a mask, if you decide to me, if you decide to wear a mask now, you shouldn't be shamed. 
for it. There will be some people who will try to shame you. Why are you wearing a mask? Yeah, yeah. It doesn't work. Yeah. But it does work. It does work. You know, as somebody who worked in the hospital before there were vaccines for almost a year, we were in the hospital on the front lines taking care of COVID patients wearing those N95 masks. I never got COVID. You know, so they really do work if you wear a high quality mask and you wear it consistently. Yeah. That's all you need to know. That is all you need to know. Uh, Dr. Gounder, thank you so much.